Patrick Anthony class. So it's mine is a tribute speech to the 1973 48th Warriors. So I stand here today to pay tribute to one of the most important people in my life, my father, Verona Tomhawk Sr., and to touch on one of his greatest accomplishments which was leading the 1973 48th Warrior team to victory against the Minot Midgets as the point guard in the Class A state tournament. So that game has been called one of the best games ever played in North Dakota with the Warriors being known as the Miracle Team. As that game was won during the third overtime with the first overtime being granted by a half court shot. So Billy Mills said it best, people made a big mistake when they say, I need to be motivated. You motivate yourself. I might inspire somebody, but that person has to be motivated within themselves first. Look inside yourself, believe in yourself, put in the hard work, and your dreams will unfold. So, growing up and seeing what a great accomplishment it was for the team to win that tournament and how it truly affected the reservation as they have been honored, at the state basketball tournament last year and inducted to the Native American Hall of Honor at the Heritage Center here in Bismarck um, has been truly amazing to witness. I'm proud to say that I have been able to make it home and see, witness my father being honored at every ceremony each time that the team gathered together. I listened to the players talk about the teamwork and how even though it was tough, as long as they worked hard on their own, it, it was worth it every time. My greatest takeaway from everything that I learned from my father is that when you know what you want and if you're willing to work hard for it, nothing is impossible. He was the smallest player on that entire team and he made it happen every time. And still today when we run into random people in stores who remember who he, who he is, they make remarks about what a great basketball player he was for the team or how uh, he played like nobody else played at that time. He always stressed that above all, all else, education was way more important than anything else he ever did. I can only hope that someday I leave as great a legacy as he did for my children, and if not, they can always take another of their grandfathers.